The Institute of Biological Chemistry, Biophysics and Bioengineering is really all about finding solutions for the biomedical questions of tomorrow. Here in the Institute we have a cohort of interdisciplinary researchers. We have physicists, we have chemists, we have bioengineers and we have people working on a variety of different projects all aimed at addressing biomedical problems of tomorrow. Those sorts of things include imaging, we're pushing imaging as far as we possibly can. It's important for being able to provide diagnostics of tomorrow. We can work out what sort of molecules are involved in things like diabetes and cancer, for example, and we can work out what's gone wrong in those sorts of conditions. We also have bioengineers here who are working on creating new diagnostic tools for the future. One group here is who's had enormous recent success generating new microfluidic devices for trying to separate fetal blood from maternal blood. Microfluidics is the manipulation of fluids at the micro scale and by targeting cells at the micro scale we can really power advances in biology or single molecule level. Plus microfluidics is uh, microfluidic chips are really contained and portable and they use less regions and produce less weights and will revolutionize the way medicine is done tomorrow. Here at IB3 we have adapted this cutting edge technology to provide solutions for a range of clinical and uh, environmental problems. For example, with uh, the help of obstetricians, we've adapted this chip to enrich fetal DNA from maternal blood, thus enabling really safe non-invasive parental diagnosis capable of replacing invasive procedures. We also have a cohort of bioengineers working on making a 3D printer that can reconstruct biological structures has a massive amount of potential for the future therapies. We developed a method for the 3D printing of live cells which in the future could envisage a situation whereby um, rather than having to wait for a donated organ, um, organs or tissues could be printed on demand to treat patients requiring transplants. Also, we were seeking to uh, develop novel methods for the manufacture um, at large scale and on demand of red blood cells. This would enable us to offer a safe, clean and reliable source of blood globally to supplement the transfusion and donation networks currently available. The ability to take cells and, uh, and print cells into whole complete structures is remarkable, but obviously the challenges in order to do that are huge. And only by combining the skill sets of, of, of different engineering disciplines, of physics and of biology, are we able to bring that all together and perhaps realise the objective of printed tissue, printed organs on demand. One of our major aims right now, funded by the UK Medical Research Council, is to transfer the knowledge that I've acquired to bioengineers, biophysicists, all sorts of scientists to try to create the next generation of instrumentation to provide answers for tomorrow's biomedical questions. I've decided to start a PhD here at AerioWatt because of the close link between this university and an internationally renowned veterinary laboratory, which is called Morden Research Institute. Since I've started the PhD, I've joined a very young uh, international team uh, and I've got all the facilities here to conduct successfully my PhD. Uh, we've got uh, laser cutting, we've got 3D printing, all the latest technology that, uh, that are available for my PhD and for uh, research in this group. Doing my PhD at Harriet Watt University seemed like a really great opportunity um, to gain interdisciplinary experience working with um, scientists from across the fields of chemistry, engineering, physics um, and computer programmers just to be able to bounce ideas off them and broaden my knowledge base. On a personal level it's been an amazing opportunity to go beyond the molecular biology. I get to hold on to that as the core of my PhD um, and get ever more advanced techniques on that side of things but I'm also having the chances to work on the optical side. I'm becoming an independent researcher within this world leading institute. Based on that I would hugely recommend taking a PhD at Harriet Watt University. The greatest challenge is to, is to educate and inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers to solve the problems of the world in the future. Our long-term goal is to enable biological discoveries 
solve tomorrow's challenges and educate the future leader in the field. What we're looking for are people of all levels, from PhD students all the way up to senior professors. Anybody who thinks that they can help use physical sciences, bioengineering, biological chemistry and biophysics to address the biomedical problems of tomorrow. Here in Heriot Watt we work extremely hard trying to break down perceived barriers between different disciplines. IB3 itself is very distinctive. We found a very powerful niche addressing these sorts of problems by integrating across disciplines, speaking to people who we may not normally have spoken to, and I'm entirely confident that we're going to provide answers for future biomedical problems, some of which we don't even know exist.